Good afternoon, Telenor MCR. It's Mike here, UKI 307 up in Manchester United. I believe I've got a test on Dig 17. My job involves mainly getting signals from outside broadcasts into London so they can then be sent up transmitters so that people can see football matches, rugby matches, sport generally. I was taken on as a technical assistant and then uh, have been trained on site since then, became an engineer and finally a senior communications engineer. I turn up on site with the van put out a couple of radio camera receivers, build the radio cameras, get all the cables from the vision and the sound end of the big scanner trucks. I get that fed into me. Then it's up with the satellite, test of the satellite to make sure that London can see my pictures and sound. And it can take a good six to eight hours to do all that, depending on if you have any problems or not. You do need a good basic grounding in, certainly maths and physics, when it comes to the RF, you do, need, you do need some understanding of how RF works, radio frequencies that is. So, um, yeah, it is quite important. So I worked at the World Cup in Berlin. I was in Berlin for six weeks. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I did the Olympic Games in Athens. Again, I was there for two months doing that. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I love getting up in different places and I also love the variety of the job. It's actually Come, it throws up different problems, different venues throw up different problems and, that is, and that's why we're here, we're here to solve them problems, and that's what I like. I joined the comms section as a trainee comms engineer. I did about two and a half years, three years on job training, working with various different parts of the comms equipment and after about three years I became a fully qualified comms engineer. I work as a satellite engineer which are, are may be the, the main route of getting the pictures and sound from an outside broadcast into the main infrastructure of the BBC. As soon as I reach site I go and see maybe the riggers who have put in my cables in, I go and talk to vision, I go and see sound so communications is very, very important. And I've found myself driving to sites and I've heard it on the radio or I've seen it on, in the paper that, oh, this such and such a program is going to happen from such and such a venue. And, I, and I'm thinking, well, if I don't get there, that program is not going to happen. You've got very little time to re rearrange and plan how you deliver the job that you set me to do. It's no use going with excuses, I couldn't do this or I couldn't do that. You've got to get it done somehow. So you have to think on your feet. I think anyone who wants to could make a, a good career in telecoms. You don't, it doesn't really take a particular type as such. You don't have to be male or female. Or I think if you've got the interest in, in math and technology generally, if you like playing with computers and a desire to press buttons just to see what happens, and then you, know, you could be that person and you could make yourself a good career in um, telecoms.